Please stand for your morning prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, thank you for the sun. It provides energy for our planet and warmth for our bodies. Bless us as we come into fall and winter, winter months, that the sun will shine and your light of love with it. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Wildcats. Today will be mostly cloudy with a high of 45 and a low of 31. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 54 and a low of 41. And on Sunday, it will be cloudy with a high of 52 and a low of 38. We would like to share some footage of the aftermath of Hurricane Michael. This footage was taken of the local area storm in the Panama City area. We pray for the students affected by the storm. Why don't we just say a prayer? In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, we pray for all the victims of this hurricane that they may recover from the destruction soon. We also pray for all the families that have been split up that they may find comfort and be reu reunited with their loved ones soon. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let's continue. Hurricane Michael is one of the strongest Category 4 hurricanes to travel over land in Florida history. Not since 1851 has there been a hurricane on land so strong in Florida. Forecasters say storm flooding is still occurring along the Florida Gulf Coast after Michael crashed ashore Wednesday afternoon as a fierce storm with 155 miles per hour winds. The storm is expected to head to the northeast as it crosses south and central Georgia into the Carolinas and finally head back to the Atlantic by today. Well, that's all for me. Bye, Wildcats! Hey Wildcats, on Wednesday in basketball, the Pacers lost to the Bulls 104-89. to In women's college volleyball, Purdue lost to Penn State 3-1 and IU lost to Nebraska 3-0. Also, Butler lost to Marquette 3-0 and Notre Dame lost to Louisville 3-2. Time for the fun fact. Did you know that more than 3.5 million kids under the age of 14 receive medical treatment for sports injuries each year? Well, that's all for sports. Bye! Hi Wildcats, I'm here to talk to you about TV facts, but before I begin, what's your favorite TV show? I don't know mine, but one of my top TV shows is The Goldbergs. Did you know the first television commercial for the Bolivia Watches was broadcasted on July 1st, 1941 in New York before a baseball game between the Philadelphia and Brooklyn? The company paid only $9 for the ad. Now for the meme of the day. Bye. Hey Wildcats, lunch options for today are chicken leg or macaroni and cheese. We have no birthdays today or over the weekend. Here are a couple more book reviews for the next week's book fair. For grades K through second, The Three Little Super Pigs by Claire Evans. After capturing the big bad wolf, the li three little pigs are now called the Three Little Super Pigs by all the citizens of Fairyland. 
The three little super pigs spend all of their days being famous heroes, greeting fans and fighting crimes so that Fairyland is a safe place. Meanwhile, while the ba big bad wolf is plotting his revenge from a cold, dreary, dreary cell in Happily Ever After prison, when he, when the shocking news of the big bad wolf's escape is received. The residents of Fairyland are terrified. The three little super pigs are determined to find the wolf and make him pay. Now, for grades four through eight, Positive Izzy by Terry Libinson. Everyone sees Brianna as a brainiac. Her parents might be the only ones that seem more to her than, than her brain power. On the flip side, Izzy is artsy. She's a dreamer, a storyteller, and an actor. She's usually behind on her homework assignments, but always seems to have a good excuse. When the school talent show comes up, Izzy can't wait. Brianna wants nothing to do with being on stage until she's recruited to do a scene with Dev, a guy she likes. Then, on the day of the show, Izzy and Brianna find themselves in a completely unexpected place. Well, that's all for the book fair books. Hey, Halloween's coming up. Don't forget about the 6th to 8th grade Halloween dance on October 19th from 6 to 9 p.m. So, Cece, what will you be for Halloween? Well, I'm going to be Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Cool. Me, Addie Henry, and Caroline Linklater are all going to be M&Ms. So, Wildcats, what will you be for Halloween? Make sure you tell us and we will include your name and your costume on one of our WS WSMW episodes. And make sure to put it in our suggested box, so then we know. Here's your fun fact. Did you know that a jack-o'-lantern comes from the Irish legend of a, of a stingy jack? Well, that's all for today, Wildcats. Bye! Bye!